from the beginning. Did you start over a new capture? Good boy, Matthew. Now behave yourself. Shane St. Laurent, you are my little brother and I do not fear you. I don't want to start this from the beginning. I don't want to start it from the beginning. This is horrible. My name is Barbara Snyder and I chose to do my career research project on independent and corporate video editing jobs in the digital media field. Nope. I'm doing this tomorrow. I want Kitty back! You're being distracting, Matthew. All right, everybody shut up. I'm starting over again. My name is My name is Barbara Snyder, and this is my career research project on independent and corporate video editing in the digital media field. Adam's over here being a diva. <laughs> a video editor's job is to put together raw B-roll footage that's used for broadcasting, which is used to cover up jumps and mess ups from the camera, such as color changes, footage drops, or any other problem that could occur when being recorded. Make sure that all the content is usable for the project and make sure it fits. Remove jumps in audio scenes and changes and confirm that all information is correct. The process of being a video editor is to receive a brief or a list of what needs to be done, such as script lines, an outline of what they want, when they want it done by, and then all the footage lists that you need. You have to gather the raw footage from the client and prepare the raw footage to be uploaded into the computer which is making sure it's in the right format, such as FLV or AVI. And then you have to organize all of the content into folders or groups and make sure you have a list of where they are and import all con content into a video editing software and begin to cut that out the things that you don't need in the project and then sync audio and video together so that everything matches up. Most employment for video editing is in the Western United States, such as California, Oregon, and Utah. Some are in smaller states in the east, such as New York, Ohio, and Michigan, which is mostly there because of the larger cities and the higher populations. The annual income for a video editor is about $51,300 per year, and a camera operator makes about $40,300 per year. For education, you have to have a bachelor's degree, and I made a list of the schools rated between top five from past students, teachers, employers, things like that, um, that decided the programs for these, for this specific field. And the list is University of North Carolina School of Arts, California Institute of the Arts, Columbia College Chicago, University of Southern California, and the New York University Tisch School of the Arts. My Adobe certification was chosen by Adam Monaco, and he chose the Adobe Premiere Pro CS6. Though I agreed with his certification choice, I did not agree with some of the skills he said I couldn't meet. Some of the skills he said I couldn't meet that I believe that I could is 1.2, which is identify video content that is relevant to the project purpose and appropriate for the target audience, which is basically just making sure that if you're making something for a school or a younger client, such as a cartoon, that nothing there is offensive to the audience or with cartoons and small children, their parents. 1.3, demonstrate knowledge of standard copyright rules related terms obtaining permission and citing copyrighted material, which is making sure that if you pull something off of the internet or if someone brings you something or gives you a picture of something, you make sure that they're given credit for it if it wasn't a no copyright website that you got it off of. 2.3, demonstrate knowledge of visual techniques for enhancing video content which would be different video effects, different 
video, ways to cut video, different transitions, things like that. And then 2.4, which is demonstrate knowledge of using audio to enhance video content, which would be sound effects or theme songs for beginnings and uh, endings. 2.5 is demonstrate knowledge of using still images to enhance video content, which would fall under still B-roll instead of video B-roll. Shane. Thank you. 2.6, which is communicate with others, such as peers and clients, about design and content plans, which is basically you just have to have very good communication skills. 4.6, add and manage effects and transitions in a video sequence. You just have to know how to put a video together in the correct order in a way that is going to keep the audience's attention. 5.1, which is demonstrate knowledge of export options for video. You have to know that it has to be a certain export for online, it has to be a certain export for it to be on a DVD. And then 5.2, which is demonstrate knowledge of how to export video from Adobe Premiere Pro. It doesn't just help to understand how to what to export it to to put it on certain areas. It also helps to know how to do it from the program you're working with. All of which is pointed out as skills that I wasn't to have to be able to meet. Um, I would still, however, have to meet to pass this Adobe Premiere certification. 3.1, which is identify elements of the Adobe Premiere Pro interface. 3.2, which is identify the functions of Adobe Premiere interface elements. 3.3, organize and customize the Adobe Premiere Pro workspace. 4.4, manage sound in a video sequence. 4.5, manage superimposed text and shapes in a video sequence. The interview person I chose was Jack Films. Jack's Films or Jack Douglas. Jack Douglas makes a profit and a living from creating YouTube videos and being paid for being sponsored on YouTube. He edits his own videos and there's a lot of people on YouTube that tell him that his videos are stupid, that he shouldn't be doing what he's doing, and he's always proud of his work no matter what people say, and he only has a high school education, which is rare for a video editor. He created Jackass and YGS, or Your Grammar Sucks, and he's doing what he loves. We were supposed to do a life aspiration slide, and basically my life aspiration is inner peace. I had about five minutes to create this slide, so I apologize for the poor slide content, but basically my life aspiration is inner peace. I have the definition of namaste, and then there is a quote from Buddha that says, true and lasting inner peace can never be found in external things. It can only be found within, and then once we find and nurture it with ourselves, it radiates outward. These are my citations for where I got my pictures and my information. More citations. And it's over. Good. Shut up, Adam. You're just mad because I didn't agree with your certification.